all right y'all welcome 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 we are here to get down in this flathead fishing can y'all sing that with me one more time flathead fishing now my job is not to tell you that we are going to catch anything but my job is to tell you that i am outside doing what i love to do the most fishing Right, so we're gonna grab a bluegill and we're gonna grab a decent one all my bluegills stay in the smaller range around this time i don't try to do too big good attention to what i'm doing okay so look we're going to take this bluegill and we're not going to cut nothing but just the tail and we're going to cut farther down farther down that tail right up in there because what happens is he bleeds good but guess what he also does he stays alive for a long time so while he's bleeding slowly and all that blood coming out, he stays alive enough to make a reaction strike for, cause a reaction strike for one of these flatheads to come and swallow him and take him on down the river. So what we gonna do is put him on one of these big old heavy duty hooks we got here. That out, I'ma show you. Now you don't have to hook him in the back. I wouldn't suggest it. A lot of times these flatheads go face first. So all that blood still there, what you do, as you go at the bottom of the mouth. Now I want you to see what I'm doing. Put them at the bottom of the mouth and you bring it out the nostril, just like that. And that fish will stay alive and he'll do just that for hours and hours while he's bleeding. And the fish will find that attractive. That might sound crazy to y'all. Why don't you just cut them into pieces? No, nah. why not have a nice little uh, bleeding session with a live fish? You might as well. So here go the first cast. I'm thinking we get one to the left and throw one to the right. So here we go. And there you have it. And we're going to sit and wait on that fish to give us what we're looking for. And y'all know what we're looking for. We're looking for a fish, right? That's what I'm talking about. Make sure he's still there. All right, y'all, here we go. Oh, he, he got that bait. <laughs> got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Where he at? Got it. He thought he was gonna get away. Not today. Oh, there you go. Man, he peeled out with that bait, didn't he? There we go. Hurry and get him. Got a little flatty. Got him. All right, one flathead of the night. First flathead of the night. Little bitty guy, but he he wanted that bait. Look at this little dude. <laughs> Look at that. Want y'all to see? Look at that. He got that right in his mouth. This dude is probably about five pounds, not even that. I give him about, what you think, four or five pounds? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. We don't even got to look at him. But that's what I wanted to show y'all. Look, here's another bait, how I did it. Pretty much the same thing, but cut the sides. And he wanted it. So... Here we go. Oh, so All right, so here we have a little flathead. All right, so here we have a little flathead right here, about five pounds. We're gonna get him back in the water. We gotta find a good spot to release him. But yep, there he go. He wanted that nice size bluegill and we gotta be careful when we release him because on the edge is a real, real muddy. So right here, and there we go. There you go, he's gone. All right, y'all. Y'all stay tuned. <laughs> All right, that's one flathead. See what else we can get. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we got another fish on. We're gonna make sure he's on there. Oh, a 
pop right out of his mouth. Damn, yep. It popped right out of his mouth. Yep. He was a little bitty dude trying to get that. Hear me? <laughs> All right, here we go. We got a fish on. I'm seeing him run. I'm seeing him run, but I want to make sure he got it. All right, here we go. Oh, he dropped the bait. He dropped the bait on me, y'all. He dropped the bait on me. Damn it. I needed him to run a little longer. Dang it. Got him. Got him. That's a flathead. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. This is a good fish. There we go. There we go. We've been looking for this one. Oh, look at him. He's trying to run. Get his butt. Oh, I thought he was in the 20s. That's a teener, though. Get him in here. We, yeah, he's a fighter. Oh, no. Got him, baby. Let's do it. <laughs> oh, he ain't no. He's a teener, but it looked like he felt like he was a 20 pounder. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Excuse me. Let's get over here and check out this fish real quick. We caught him off the mad cat rods. All right. Let's see where that hook is at. Look at that. That's look at that. Look at that. Mm -hmm. I casted it short. What I say because I felt all them logs and I knew I had to change the position of where that rod was at because I was having issues with um getting that fish. But here go the fish right here. We're gonna get a little way on him. I think he I'm thinking he about 10 pounds, nothing serious. And he is about 10. He's 10 pounds. That says 1136. We have to minus the uh, yeah. pound from the net. Yeah. So let's get a look. Good look on him. It's over there. See? Oh, like look at him. Good. That's what I'm talking about. Look at the flat. Little 10 pounder right here. Right here. That's the 10 pounder. Look at that. Man, these fish are so beautiful. I don't care. They just so majestic and young. But he's a little guy, though. I mean,. We could have got them bigger, but that's all right. We can't be mad at this. This is a good catch. They come up to these shallows so they can feed real nice, man. It's a lot of bait fish hanging out there, and all we did was just chop up some bluegill. Um, like I said, we was um using we were using the uh, method that we was cutting up the tails and then throwing them out there. But then what we decided to do is we kind of realized that the flatheads seemed like they might have been smaller, so we just chopped them up into uh, we chopped the bluegill into cut bait. And that's how we end up with this guy. So we got a second one of the night. And let's see what else we can get. We're going to throw that back out there. I think this is the safest spot to put a flathead at right now. It's really dangerous out here and really mucky and muddy. So let's get a nice release on this little dude. Yeah, he wasn't happy. He was ready to go. <laughs> Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember, there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.